Hey there, welcome to my channel Crypto Ramble. My name is Desiree. My favorite coin just got listed on Chain Jelly, so I thought it would be useful to make a tutorial of how to use Chain Jelly. Chain Jelly is simply an exchange for cryptocurrencies where you can exchange your coins from crypto into crypto rather than say from fiat such as USD or Euros into cryptocurrencies. So you can go from BTC to LTC or LTC to Ethereum and you don't have to necessarily go with one of the major pairings. You can exchange by taking funds from your wallet and then sending to another recipient's address in the desired cryptocurrency of your choice. It supports about 60 cryptocurrencies at the moment and is similar to Shapeshift, which is another crypto to crypto exchange. You can also deposit funds in fiat, however, if you use their website and not just a connected application. I discovered Change Jelly some time back because I use the Coinomi wallet app and you can either use Chain Jelly or Shapeshift in order to convert your crypto straight from one into the other. But what happens is that you send the money in, basically matches your order for you and you wait some time and they find the best rate and then it sends it back. So Chain Jelly itself is an exchange that you can sign up for on their website, but you can also use Chain Jelly with one of their partner apps such as Coinomi and wallets that allow you to hold multiple cryptocurrencies within them. If you use Chain Jelly without the integration on an application, then you will have to sign up, but you can also just download a wallet app and create wallets for the specific cryptocurrencies that you are interested in. Other wallets that use it are Jax, Bread Wallet, Mycelium, Coin Payments, you could debit card, Coinomi, and other companies. So I'll just go ahead and sign up on Chain Jelly, and I want to get myself some particle. You just go to exchange and you select the coin that you want to replace, and you select the token or coin that you would like to receive. And it quotes you the amount in the cryptocurrency that you are sending and the cryptocurrency that you are receiving. And when you put in the amount in either of those cryptocurrencies, then it will automatically tell you what the amount is in the other cryptocurrency. There is some pertinent information to the side, including the exchange rate from one crypto into the next, the one you're exchanging from and the one you are exchanging into, the estimated waiting time and the transaction fee. These are subject to change, but if they change, they shouldn't differ much from what's quoted here, but it's just likely it might happen because there are fluctuations in these prices. And after that, you put in the recipient address that could be your own address, or maybe you're trying to send the exchanged coins to somebody else. And after that, you get a confirmation. You can check the amounts for both the crypto that you are sending and the crypto that you are receiving. And you can double check the recipient's address. Always double check that because it could be wrong. And then it also gives you the same information again about the estimated rating time, the transaction fee, and the exchange rate. Just a side note, there are two fees. There's a network transaction fee associated with the block rewards that miners or stakers get depending on what kind of coin it is. And that's different from the commission fee that is being charged by Changely to exchange your coins from one crypto into the next. So one is charged by the blockchain itself and one is from Changely. I want to point out that if you're using one of the wallets that have Changely integrated and not Changely itself, then you can have some other advanced features such as being able to set the priority of your transaction and pay a higher transaction fee in order to get the exchange done more quickly. And then it will let you know that your order has been placed and you can check on your status now and again. And then you'll get some whatever coin you wanted just like that. And that's how Change Jelly works. It's pretty simple to use. I hope that was useful. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you liked the video and keep an eye out for more content in the future. Bye.